Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Trails of Cold Steel. Today we're going to Monday on day three of the field study. <laughs> Same day, 6 30 what? Wait, what does that mean, same day? This is a new day. Oh, yes, it is. Ah, that was a great meal. I don't think I could eat another bite. After how much we ate yesterday, I'm surprised we were still able to pack away this much food. Well, you're all growing boys and girls, so eat up. Riding takes a lot of energy, so I'd say eating like this is normal after a day out on the plains. Um, would anyone like more? I should probably refrain. If there's any chicken left, we can wrap it in bamboo and take it with us. Who knows, we might need something to gnaw on while we're out there today. Uh, okay, okay. Let me help. I'll pour the leftover tea into some containers for you. Thanks? You guys are all very nice. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're, you really are too kind. You're a guess. What kind of host would we be if we didn't treat you as such? Anyways, here's the grand list of tasks you'll be trend uh, attending to today. I'm surprised we have three days, or... Did I load the wrong save? No. Uh, Nord Highlands North Monster. Lacan, a large number, a large unknown monster has been seen around the northern part of the highlands. It must be exterminated at all costs. Sure. I figured it wouldn't hurt to give you fewer than yesterday. Uh, feel free to take advantage of that extra time to do whatever strikes your fancy. Maybe go off the beaten path a bit. Understood. Thank you again for everything. <laughs> Don't you want to spend more time with your grandfather, Elisa? It sounds like you weren't able to spend much time with him yesterday. I, um, Gwen stayed at the Elder's house yesterday, right? I imagine you ought to be up and about soon. We have no objections to completing this morning's task without you if you wish to spend more time with him. But, Khan, are you there? Elder? Uh, yeah, I'm in here. I mean, it's my house. Where else would I be? Good morning. G grandfather? Norton? Good morning, everyone. Sorry to intrude. Judging by the looks on your faces, it seems not all is well. I'm afraid you're right. We received word from Zendergate just a short while ago. They said the Imperial Army's watchtower has been attacked. Exclamation point question mark? What? It sounds like it all happened in the middle of the night. And that's not the last of it either. Our Republicans' army base has been attacked too. This isn't going to be pretty. Right, so they're going to blame each other and then start the war. Same day, 8 a.m., or maybe a.m.? Probably a.m. Could be p.m. No, that's a.m. Uh, third Armored Division military take uh, airships. Oh. Gonna have aerial combat here? Republican Army, 8th Division, uh, Aviation Regiment. Oh, uh, and they're not attacking each other, just kind of scoping out the deal. Dots. Airborne Armor Division being sent out first, as always, I see. I suppose it's only a matter of time before they give the order for to the Armored Regiments, too. Lieutenant General, we confirmed the deaths of two guards. The further, th uh, further three has sustained serious injuries, but we've seen we've been able to stabilize the condition. I see. Have the medics, uh, have the medics see to them as, as the the second they arrive. Yes, sir. Contact Zendergate. Prepare the third Divi armored division for deployment. I want all armored vehicles ready to move before I return. Hmm. So I should probably kill that monster first, right? Hey, you sure you don't need us to help? I appreciate your willingness, but we'll be fine. We're used to the procedures for moving the settlement in case of an emergency. Same goes for you guys. 
Assume you're already heading to Zendergate to learn more about the current situation from Zender... Uh, Lieutenant General Xander. Not as a citizen nor, but as a student of the Thor's Military Academy. Yeah, I will. Will you be staying here, Grandpa? I will. I can use the truck, after all. And since I was here anyways, I might as well do what I can to get the sediment ready to move. Alright, please take care of yourself. I'm sorry, Elder Lacan. I feel terrible that I can't help you when you need it the most. You have your own job to do. There's no need to worry about us. May the blessings of the wind and the goddess be with all you. Take care. Yeah, about that monster, though. No, monster? What? But monster! About the monster! No one's ever seen me before. Okay. Made of stone. Oh no. Just fought a stone golem in uh during the X Life stream and it didn't it, it we won. It didn't, it didn't exactly uh didn't exactly uh go over I'd go as well as I'd hope. It's over the southwestern area of the island. Oh no, it's still in the northern region. So we cannot go up here. Is that true? Okay. So I'm assuming uh, that's gonna... Nord Highlands. Yeah. So eventually, I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna have to go back up there, right? Um... Let's see. I'm gonna go around and talk to everyone, just in case there's anything of, uh, well, hidden quest here. Alright, that should be everyone, so let's go ahead and, I guess, head to Zender Gate. Um, we'll travel a little bit on screen, and if nothing appears to be happening, no new monsters, no cutscenes, uh, then we will just kind of appear at Zender's Gate. I'm really sorry to, to put you guys up to this. You've already helped me more than enough yesterday. No problem, don't sweat it. There must be some kind of breaking news every press photographer... This must be some kind of breaking news every press photographer dreams of getting being on the scene for. Still, it bothers me. How is it possible that both the Imperial and Republican bases were attacked at the same time? Do you think one attacked first and the other swiftly retaliated? No time to think about that right now. We need to hurry. We need to get to Zendergate as fast as we can. Right! Oh, don't ride too roughly! Are we just gonna... Or do we actually... Are we traveling ourselves, or are we just gonna be there? We are traveling ourselves, okay. Just gonna... Quick little looksy-loo here. Make sure that, uh... There's no green icon. Just being sure. Like, I know that it says southwest region of the northern highlands, but still. Just gotta, just gotta double check. I might actually go to the Imperial Watchtower first, see what's going on there. Apparently, we can't dilly dally right now. Who would have thought? That's one of the Imperial Army's airships. Where? The ah. situation is looking worse by the minute. Yeah. yeah. We need to hurry. We are hurrying. I was actually using the turbo button, and then you guys interrupted me. Those are armored cars from the Imperial Army. This is true. Damn, this isn't looking good. Yeah, they are preparing for war. <clears throat> kind of understandable. Given the whole, you know, they think they were attacked. And they might be noticing the fact that the, uh, the Republican base was attacked, and they think that they're going to be blamed for it, so they're going to defend themselves. And it... Here's they're preparing for deployment. Thanks, everyone. Let me go see if I can get permission to start taking uh, photographs. Um, I wonder where Lieutenant General Zanuck could be. We need to find him so we can tell us. We need to find him so we can tell us what's going on. I suspect that you might show up. Lieutenant General, did you have some business, Lieutenant Elsewhere, sir? I thought I'd conduct another sweep of the area as precaution. But never mind that now, you came at a perfect time. A freight train bound to Ruhr departs 30 minutes from now. I want you all on board that train, finish up your field study as quick as you can, and return to the academy. 
What? But sir... Dots. While things ultimately depend on the actions of the Republican army, the bottom line is that we may be mere hours away from on conflict with the Calvard Republic. It's I've already informed everyone in the settlement. They did not re did they not relay the message to you? <laughs> be that as it may, we can't just turn tail and pretend none of this is happening. Lieutenant General, have you just established which side attacked first? Guys, that's this, that's the central question here. It's still under investigation. You have my assurance that the Imperial Army did not attack. We did not make the first move, nor did we re uh, nor have we retaliated. However, our army's watchtower has was destroyed, and several guards lost their lives. As the officer in charge of Zendergate, I have a duty to act. Dots. So there really were fatalities. Let's presume, for the sake of argument, that the damage sustained by the Republican Army's base was, in fact, deliberate sabotage by their own forces. How bad was the damage? Several of their facilities suffered major structural damage. Their losses appear to be, at minimum, equal to odds. Honestly, I'd estimate them to be far greater. But if they suffered even more damage than we did, that doesn't make any sense. I'm afraid we've long since passed the point where leisurely discussing our possibilities was an option. I'll do all I can to avoid full-scale war, but we're prepared for the possibility of armed conflict. And I suspect they are as well. That just seems so wrong. Huh. <sighs> If, you're, if that's your opinion, Lieutenant General, will you at least allow me the chance to investigate what happened on my own? Guys? Inve investigate on our own? As I'm sure you're aware, I know the Highlands are like the back of my hand. And when someone attempts to threaten a piece of my homeland, I won't rest until I've unearthed the truth behind what's happening. You're serious. Dots. We'll do everything we can to help you. I think this falls within the scope of our field study, too. No, wait. This is the people of Nord's problem. There's no reason for all of you to stay here and risk getting caught up in the crossfire. A classman and a friend is staying behind. Isn't that reason enough? I'm the son of the House of El Brea. Um, I would never disgrace the honor of my family name by fleeing in the face of danger. <laughs> kind of funny, given the issues you have with your family. Besides, it seems like you, your people have done a lot for my grandfather. Guys, do you remember what you said to us back in Himdal Station? Heimdall Station, the most important thing is that we all come back safe and sound. Everything else is secondary. Heh. It appears you've lost that one, guys. Lieutenant General, I... It's currently 10.05. I will permit you until 12.30 uh, to conduct your investigation. I will do everything in my power to propose, propose, postpone any potential conflict until at least then. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Then we have a moment to lose. We need to go fight that monster in the Northern Highlands. We should begin investigating the watchtower that was attacked. That sounds like a good place to start. But like the Northern Highlands, though? Also, I wanted to talk to everyone back at the base. Thank you. You're welcome. Really, I appreciate it more than you know. Yeah, probably. It's no big deal, honestly. I mean, it is kind of a big deal. I agree with Elisa. We're classmates, after all. And more than that, we're friends. Yeah, usually, generally speaking, though, class- I mean, friends, maybe. Classmates, when there's a war brewing, you usually try to get the safety. You guys are military students, though, so that is a little bit different. Well, this is clearly of great importance to you. I know you want to protect your people, but that's not the only reason you're doing this, is it? You got me. It ties back into why I accepted the Lieutenant General's recommendation and entered the Academy, too. I'm sure each of you feels the same about your own homes, but I love this land with all my heart. That's very good, guys. But I need to point out that the hair physics are really well done on the ladies over there. The cloth physics on the guy's shirts, or at least guys in Eustace's shirt, pretty janky. The wind racing across the highlands, vast mountain peaks, clear blue the sky the breathtaking beauty of the rising sun the melancholy of the sunset the twinkling of the stars in the twilight i love everything about this land of nord it's part of who i am wow i guess it hadn't sunk in how much nord means to you i mean it is his homeland i'm certainly attached to ruer but i 
can't think of anyone else who would state their love for their homeland so poetically. Well, he is an artiste. If you love it so much, why did you leave it behind? <laughs> I thought he was about to say, why don't you marry it? If you truly Ugh. love Nord, if Nord is such a part of you, what is it that drove you to enroll in a military academy in a foreign land so far away? Probably the learn? <laughs> I'm not surprised you'd find it strange. To be honest, I'm still not totally sure what compelled me to do it. Back when I was a kid, the Republican Army built a base in the Eastern Plains. And the Imperial Army responded in kind with their watchtower. It's made me more uneasy with every passing year. Years ago, a traveling priest from the Septian Church taught me all about the history of the continent. One thing that stood out to me was just how many lives have been lost during the conflicts between the major powers. I mean, yeah, generally speaking, that's how war usually goes. Another major theme was just how profound of an impact the Orville Revolution had on people's lives. Even the concepts of time and distance have changed so much. In effect, the Orville Revolution shrunk the world. It made me realize a sad truth, one that kind of scares me even now. Is it bees? That there was no guarantee my homeland could stay at peace forever. That's, well, that is actually very true. You guys are literally smack dab in the middle of this conflict between the Re Republic and, you know, the Imperials. Sure, you know, Matt, so you move around, but do you really want to spend most of your life unpacking and packing and then responding to a threat of, like, an armed conflict? One day it might be drawn into outsiders' conflicts and be occupied and redistricted into oblivion. You guys literally don't have much in the ways of, well, really population either, so... It would really just take a few people with weapons to show up at your settlement and be like, yeah, this is ours now, or just kill you all, actually. I can't believe you were thinking about such weighty things even as a kid. So then... You joined the Academy in order to learn more about the outside world that posed a threat to your homeland? Yeah, something along those lines. When I realized how afraid I was, I knew I couldn't close my eyes. I wanted to do something, anything, to protect this land. As luck would have it, I met the Lieutenant General. He's the one who told me about Thor's Military Academy. I'm kind of surprised Thor's Military Academy takes foreign students. I guess he does have a recommendation from Xander, One right? Led to another, he offered me a recommendation, and before I knew it, I took him up on his offer. But I figured it'd be a lot of red tape, though. I mean, I guess there's probably special, like, exceptions for the the nomads here because the the, the Nord Highlands and how it's been a part of the history of the Empire. So there I was, green as grass. Heading off to study abroad despite having no clue what life in the Empire was like. But I feel like they would probably not do that for people from, like, liberal, or definitely not the Republic, right? Thinking back on how it all came together, what you said is probably what I was thinking back then. Honestly, I have yet to hear a student offer a more galvanizing reason than yours for enrolling at the Academy. <laughs> I have to agree. I don't know too many people who love their home so much that they leave it behind to find a way to protect it. It's not a sentiment I can imagine many Erebonians feeling, that's for sure. But I think I finally understand. Elisa? Yeah, what do you understand? Um, Why, you left? Just an idle thought. But having heard Gaius pour his heart out to us, there's no way we can just walk away from this. Not after the people of Nord gave us such a warm welcome and treated us like family. And a bunch of food. Indeed. I couldn't have asked for more. Agreed. We'll get to the bottom of what's going on here and stop Ward from breaking out. Maybe. Nord may not be our home, but it's still an important neighbor. I'll do what I can to aid you. Thanks, all of you. Really, thank you. And who knows, I might get a lot of experience for this. Or more orbits? And money? I need money. I need a lot of money. I need a ton of money. I also need Eeyore not to jump on me while I'm recording.
You can see shell damage everywhere. It's even worse than I feared. They confirmed, confirmed casualties too. I didn't think I'd ever see anything like this. You're kind of in a military academy. You should have probably been prepared for this. As siblings of a military academy, things like this are always within the realm of possibility. Although I hardly expect my first sight of such devastation to be the spark of, that ignites the war with Calvard. This may be too much for students for like us to handle. No, we've been in situations that looked impossible before, haven't we? And every time we've come through, we just have to stay calm and think. I'm sure we can do something here, too. You're right. True, we should focus on doing what we can. Whatever we decide to do, we need to get a better grasp of the situation. Yeah, let's find the person in charge and get their permission to start an investigation. I see. If Lieutenant Zenda, General Zenda has given you permission, I have no I see no reason to refuse. Thank you. However, I want to make it clear that armed conflict with Calvard could begin at any moment. We've got our hands full staying on guard with for any potential threat from the east. I'll permit you to speak with the soldiers here, but don't get in the way of them doing their duties. Understood. Okay, let's get started. We should start by speaking with the soldier and soldiers assessing the damage. That seems wise. When we gather all the information we need, we can start piecing it together. Right, let's go. To the Northern Highlands? Yeah? Let's get going. Damn it. Okay, fine. Yeah. Uh, just trying, trying to kill a monster. Jeez. You're gonna sell what? Oh, sweet. Oh, you, so you're from the. Yeah, you're from the uh, what's it called? The the Zender Gate place. Um, is there anything I need? Could open that one. Could open that one, finish her off completely. You're done. Um. Hmm. Okay, here we go. You do this one, because we have a ton of wind. And we may as well do this one as well. There you go. We could do that one for you. So we can wait for that one, or we can save it for that. I guess we can unlock him here, but we're not exactly using him right now. We'll definitely probably have a chance to use him a little bit later. Um, for Gaius, though, what do we want to give you? You got move. You need another one of like one of the green ones. I guess this one makes sense, right? Blind or sleep. And down here, we can give him this. Why not? Sure, why not? Bunch of HP, some defense, some attack. Eh. We have just normal attack. Heat up. Cure stat down, CP plus five. Huh. Does give us seven strength, so that's kind of interesting. Give you the information. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's let's give you information. Because we kind of need that on someone. I mean, we don't need it, but we should have it on someone. And no one over there. Let's come up here and just talk to everyone that's not required first. To see what uh, is going on and if they drop anything. I wonder if we're gonna see uh, the soldiers that we talked to the other day. I'm assuming they're dead. Actually, I think he's saying that. Oh no, they're apparently alive. Zatz is anyways. Hmm. Weren't they standing right at the bombing of the one of the shells though? That's kind of insane. Huh, is this... What's up, Elisa? 
Is there something unusual about the scrap of metal? It's one of the shells. I knew it. This is a mortar shell manufactured by the Reinford Company. Are you sure? Yeah, I've seen them before in the assembly line. There's only a couple models capable of firing this kind of shell. That would suggest that a mortar used to fire was also made by the Reinford Company. But if we assume that's true, it seems much less likely that the Republic was responsible. True, why would the Republican Army use a weapon made in the Empire? It doesn't make much sense to me. Huh. Even we can account for this deception, it seems unlikely that Calvary would go this far to conceal their involvement. Though considering the stakes, we can't entirely rule out that possibility. Still, this uh, might prove to be an important clue in solving this mystery. I mean, we kind of... We kind of already know what's going on, right? The the little blue-haired girl that we saw did make, mention something about an operation, and as soon as she did, both the Republic and the uh, Empire are being attacked, so... So obviously, it's it's not like the Republican, like the Republic attacking, right? It's it's a dual attack, made to look like they attacked each other. This is awful. It really is. It looks like they got hit hard. And to think they were casualties. You know the Imperial Army isn't going to sit and twiddle their thumbs after suffering an attack like this. They have their image to uphold, after all. Hey, looks like most of the damage is uh, concentrated on the south side of the building. You think whoever carried out the attack could have done it from the Highlands? It seems very likely. But where on the plane could they launch an attack like that? Oh, the Highlands are incredibly vast. We need some kind of clue to even know where to start looking. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find something here that will point us in the right direction. What about the middle area? That spike thing that we saw? Rowan, why'd you have to go and die on me? That's. He seems pretty down. Can't say I don't understand how he feels, though. It was right when the shift changed. Rowan came up and relieved me, and I was chatting away with him like always. That's when the first shell hit us. Must have been like 3 in the morning. So it started around 3 in the morning, then. Right in the middle of the night. I was on lookout. I should have noticed something was off, but the explosion completely took us by, took me by surprise. I was so sure every, uh, nothing would ever happen out here that whenever... When something actually happened, I was totally useless. If I had just paid a bit more attention, I'd been if I had been a better, better soldier, Rowan might still be with us. It's not your fault. None of us could have predicted that something like this would have happened. You can hardly blame yourself for a lack of vigilance after being stationed in a peaceful area like this for so long. They attacked in the dead of night, knowing your god guard would be down. I wonder if they really it really was the Republican army's doing after all. We need more information this before we can say for sure. No, I don't think it was them. There was something else that happened before we came under attack. We heard an explosion coming from the Republicans' base. When we looked, we saw smoke pouring from it. What? We knew the bo both bases were attacked, but we did both attacks really happen around the same time? If that's so, it's unlikely that either army was responsible. Who is responsible, then? We should keep this in mind as we piece things together. I'm assuming we're going to have to answer, like, questions about this in a minute or so. How's the situation with the Republican Army? Looks like they're really hustling over there. We've confirmed a number of armored vehicles entering the and exiting the area. Huh. We've heard their base would get hit pretty hard too. And even from over here, it sure looks that way. Lieutenant General said that the Republican base got hit at least as hard as the Watchtower, if not harder. But we believe they were responsible for that as well. They needed they needed a suit to attack us, and that sure as hell looks like one. Do you really think that's true? That much damage seems awfully excessive. Huh. They probably just got over as zealous with their explosives. Doesn't matter, it makes make much difference either way. If they're brazen enough to attack us, we'll blow them back across the border. The soldiers here all seem to have their doubts, but without any hard evidence, we're going not going to be able to convince them of anything. We should reconsider the possibility that this wasn't a deliberate act of sabotage by Calibre's forces. I mean, it's not? I would be very surprised if it was. I think that's all the information we can gather here. I think so too. Now we need to analyze what we've learned. First we should establish a good picture of what's happening when the attack occurred. That seems like the best place to start. So first of all, what time did the actual attack on the watch tower happen? Uh, three. It was 3 a.m. Yes, that was what the guard told us. 
But that wasn't all that was going on then. That's right, the Republican Army's base also came under attack. And according to the Lieutenant General, they suffered even greater damage than what happened here. I think we can safely discount the possibility that the Republican, Republican Army bombarded their own forces then. But there's no evidence that the Imperial Army launched an attack either. All we know is that both attacks happened and both sides took heavy damage. However, as Lisa said, we have no evidence to suggest that either side was responsible. If we accept that as fact, the most likely scenario is that the responsible responsibility lies within another party entirely. So you think a third party is working behind the scenes to provoke both countries into starting a war? Tensions between the Empire and the Republic are always high. But compared to other areas of similar political values, the Nord Highlands have always been peaceful. I was convinced of no reason either country would have decided to break that peace last night. I can conceive of no uh, reason. I agree. If anything, it seems that the negativ negatives would outweigh the positives for both parties. If this was Crossbell, it might be a different story, but here? Now that you mention it, we found something else odd about the attack at the Watchtower, didn't we? Something that seems to point to a third party's involvement? Something else odd- yeah, it was that shell. It was the, uh, the weapon that was used. Oh, it could be the area as well. It came from the south of the Highwind. I don't know. I see it could be both here. Let's go with the weapon that was used. You're talking about the mortars that you, the, the mortars used for the attack, right? Exactly. It looks like the orbital mortars they used in the attack were an old Reinford model. And I, for one, don't find it pretty... I find it pretty unlucky that the Republican Army is packing Erebornian made weapons. Indeed, they have little reason to be, considering the Republic has its own major orbital technology manufacturer. The Vern Company, as I recall. Yeah, the Vern Company is responsible for manufacturing most of the arms used by the Republican Army. Then there's the fact that the mortars used here are, is old, and the Imperial Army hasn't used this model for years. I've heard the military surplus sometimes make its, makes its way onto the black market and end up in the hands of mercenaries. Knowing that, it seems unlikely that either army chose to use it to cover their tracks. Wait. Over. There is a far more pressing question we need to answer. What do you mean? Ah, I know where, you, I know where you're going. We need to know where the attack was launched from in the first place. Oh, that's going to be difficult to work out. But without the vital, without that vital detail, all of our speculation thus far is for naught. We need, in, if we intend to avert a war, we need more than speculation. We need conclusive evidence. Agreed. But the Highlands are so are far too vast for just to strike out, uh, just to strike out searching blindly, especially the Lieutenant General's deadline rapidly approaching. Well, clearly we need to go to the North Highlands and fight that monster. Actually, we may not have to start our, our search blind. If Elisa and guys will lend me their hand, I may be able to help. Huh? What do you have in mind? If I can factor the location of the damage, uh, uh, the location of the damage together with the speed and trajectory of the mortar shells, then take into account the Highlands winds, I may be able to estimate the area from which the mortar was fired. Uh, potentially, anyways. Are you serious? Sounds easier said than done. I'll do what I can. Are you familiar with the specifics of that of the shell that was used? I, I think so. It's an older model, but I should be able to give you some rough data. <laughs> that should be plenty. Anyways, let's have another look at those damaged areas and start our calculations. Please come with me, everyone. Right. AP increased by one. All right, I think I've calculated a rough location. I believe the mortar was fired from the location to the south of here. Uh, using the map as a reference point, that means it's likely launched from somewhere in this area. And according to my calculation, launch site shouldn't be too far from here. Wow, I, I can't believe you managed to work that out. That's well beyond the level of mathematics we covered in class. I'll enjoy watching Ragnitz really sweat it out trying the best to you in the next midterms. <laughs> I'm just a little, just applied a little uh, physics. I couldn't have done it without at least a guy's as hell. <laughs> it looks like you've got a nice, we've got a nice big, uh, nice big, big piece of the puzzle right in our hands. Sure seems like like it. Let's take off and start looking. Right. Reading the others reported their findings to the soldiers in charge and asked them to relay the intel to Xander Gate. 
Afterwards, they set out on horseback to begin their search. But will Piccolo find the last of the Dragon Balls? Find out next time! On, well, okay, we're not actually going to finish right here right now. Uh, Alright, let's start looking where the mortars were actually fired from. If what Ember calculated is correct, it should have fired from the point south of the tower. Like Stonehenge over there? And most likely from a point that's easy to overlook. So that's so that's not found. Oh, maybe not Stonehenge then. Because that would be the obvious location. Let's see if we can find anywhere that fits the description. We'll likely need to rely on the map to help. I wonder if the culprit could, st culprit could still be there. Huh, regardless, we should see what we can find. Okay, so... To the south of this tower. So that's north. So I'm assuming... It's gonna be right here where the marker is. But that might be obvious. But we'll find out next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, want to hear my videos, so I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. If you're watching me live stream at twitch.tv slash give my channel follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.